Today, memorial services were held in Lockerbie, Scotland, and here at home to honor the 270 people killed when a bomb brought Pan Am Flight 103 down over the Scottish town 30 years ago. In Lockerbie, a bagpiper played as wreaths were laid at a memorial with the names of the 270 victims. More Americans died in the bombing than in any other terrorist attack before September 11th. The brother of a woman from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, died in the tragedy. She told me the grieving process doesn't end. Take these. And then we got to put a staple here and a staple here. Kara Weeps and her teenage son are preparing for a somber anniversary. When Kara was just 15, her brother Rick Minetti was on board Pan Am Flight 103 when a bomb exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland, killing everyone on board. There's always that sense of there's someone who's missing. Now, three decades later, she's joining other victims' families to remember those killed in the air and on the ground when the plane exploded. You know, we speak their names and and that and that's the point it's remembering and it's not only remembering these wonderful 270 people who died but it's also remembering what happened so it doesn't repeat the timing of this anniversary comes at a pivotal point in Kara's life because as my brother was killed um, he was a junior in college studying abroad I'm about to send my oldest off to college. In about eight months, I'll be putting him on a plane to fly five hours to go to school and, you know, start his life. So I kind of am experiencing or understanding a lot of what my parents went through. Lockerbie was the biggest mass murder on British soil in recent history. The majority of those on board were American. It's amazing what this group of families has accomplished over the last 30 years, the changes that have been made, and even the, you know, the things that have come about after this tragedy um, in the way that we do police work investigation. Several memorials are being held to remember the somber anniversary. A new permanent memorial to the victims is unveiled at FBI headquarters. When you stop asking why, which is very hard because I don't understand why, and do I wish it didn't happen every single day, but it did. So what do we do with that? And you have to try and make the world a better place. Good advice.